I'm going to use this little plastic box to demonstrate some properties of compartmental models. Compartmental models are mathematical models which are widely used in nuclear medicine, particularly applicable to biological systems. So I'm going to demonstrate some of their properties by putting water into this little box. First of all, um, I'm going to fill it with water. And for the first demonstration, I'm just going to divide it in two with this little uh, partition here, so that I'm only going to be looking at half of the model at one time. I'm going to demonstrate a closed single compartment system. Closed system means that it's not connected to the outside world, so it has no inflows or outflows. But we can demonstrate how to measure the volume of that system by adding some tracer. The tracer I'm going to use is just a little bit of food colouring. In nuclear medicine, we use radioactive tracers. In other applications, all sorts of other tracers can be used. But food colouring is good for this demonstration. So, I'll take out a little bit of my food colouring. And add it to my compartment. One important thing about compartmental model is that the concentration of tracer must be the same everywhere in the compartment. So I have to give it a good mix to make sure that it's well mixed and uniform concentration everywhere. And we get a certain colour representing the density of tracer in the compartment. So if I take another syringe and draw off a sample from this compartment, it doesn't matter where I take it from, the concentration is the same everywhere, the concentration in the syringe is therefore representative of the concentration in all of that compartment. And the concentration is inversely proportional to the volume of the compartment. So I can work out from the concentration in the syringe and knowing how much I have it, what the volume of the compartment is. In fact, if I remove this partition, which doubles the size of the compartment, give it another stir. If I now take another sample from this compartment, I get half the concentration because I've doubled the volume. And so I can see that the concentration goes down as the volume of the compartment increases. So that's how we can measure the volume of a compartment using this closed single compartment model. And that might be used in nuclear medicine, for example, for measuring the volume of plasma in patient's blood. That's the closed single compartment model. I can use this same model to demonstrate an open single compartment. An open single compartment has connections to the, in, to the outside world, so we have flow coming in and flow going out again. It's important that the size of the compartment, the volume, remains fixed all the time. So I have an overflow here to make sure that it remains constant volume. But to put flow through the system, all I need to do is to pour in some extra water. And we'll see that as I do that, the concentration in what's left goes down because it's been diluted and flushed out. And you can see the concentration reducing as the uh, tracer is washed out. And if we were able to measure it and plot it carefully, we would find that in fact it, the concentration falls exponentially with time. We keep on going, it gets more and more dilute, paler and paler. And eventually tends towards zero, but being an exponential, it never quite reaches zero. So that's the properties of an open single compartment system. And that might be used, for example, for measuring things like uh, the rate of kidney clearance for blood marrow filtration rate.
I'm now going to use the same model to illustrate an open two compartment system. I'm going to fill this with water. And then divide it into two, this time with a, a partition which has got lots of holes in it, so it's a permeable partition, dividing it into two compartments. This is a compartment that exchanges with the outside, so flow comes into here and out of here, but it can also freely diffuse across this partition. So we have a mammillary system here, this is called the central compartment, and that's the peripheral compartment. And I'm going to inject some of my coloured tracer into the central compartment and give that a mix to make sure the concentration is the same. And then when I start the flow, we're going to have flow coming into and out of the central compartment, but it's going to mix with the peripheral compartment. So you see the concentration of the peripheral compartment starts at zero, but then it went up quite rapidly due to diffusion, but the concentration in the central compartment is going down all the time. The peripheral compartment is going up. So after a while, the concentration in the peripheral compartment is greater than in the central compartment. And after that, the net diffusion back from the peripheral into the central compartment. In fact, now both compartments are going down together. The concentration in the peripheral compartment is slightly greater than that in the central compartment, but after that initial rise in the concentration in the peripheral compartment, the peripheral and central compartments both go down together. So that illustrates a two-compartment mammillary system, the sort of thing that we commonly find in biological studies and again can be used to kidney clearance studies when the tracer will diffuse into a second peripheral compartment. Finally, I'm going to use the same model to demonstrate a catenary system. Once again, we fill it with water. This time, I'm going to put in three uh, partitions, each with holes in, to divide it up into four separate sections. This time, flow is going to come in at this end, through all the compartments, and out at the other system. So we have a chain of compartments, one after the other. That's why it's called a catenary system. If I add some tracer to this end compartment here, and mix that, and then I start the flow going, we'll see that we start with a high concentration in the first compartment but nothing in any of the others, and as we start it going it rapidly builds up in the second compartment, a bit slower in the third and eventually in the fourth compartment, and the, meanwhile the first compartment is going down. conditions.